everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. If this is your first time visiting then my name is Rebecca and please do like and subscribe that way you will keep up to date with all of my weekly tutorials. Now this particular tutorial is for this beautiful cobblestone stitch so it's a really simple and easy two row repeat and you can see with this tutorial you will get beautifully straight edges and you will get this amazing texture. So the cobblestone stitch is almost like mini popcorn stitches, things like that and mini bobble stitches so you get the amazing 3D texture but without using quite so much yarn because the other ones are a bit of a yarn eater. So it's a beautiful closed stitch, you can see there aren't many gaps at all so they would make a really thick and warm and beautiful throw or baby blanket but also if you used a slightly larger hook you could get a really beautiful drape on a textured scarf as well. But they would also make, if made in cotton yarn, brilliant little pot pads and things like that or even washcloths because you've got that bit of roughness with the texture. So I'm really hoping that you can see the, the texture that you will get with this tutorial. But let's just crack on with the step by step. So for the tutorial itself I'm going to be using this beautiful Shapies Chunky Monkey Anti-Pilling Yarn. It is, it is extremely, extremely soft and silky and it's not fuzzy at all because obviously it's the anti-pilling one so it'll hold up really well in the wash as well and it's got this beautiful soft sheen to it as well so it's a really beautiful new yarn from Shapies. Um, for anyone that is wondering this is the colour Stone so it's a really beautiful neutral colour so it, it recommends a 5mm hook but I'm actually going to be using a 6mm. They say that it's an Aran yarn but I really do think it's more of a normal chunky yarn when I've put it up against my other chunkies so yeah I'm going with the 6mm. So once you start working this pattern it is just a two row repeat so it's nice and simple. So you're going to start with your slip knot on your hook and then you want to start a foundation chain and you want your foundation chain to be a multiple of two. So basically just an even number. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through. So if you just complete your foundation chain in a multiple of two, so an even number, and I will meet you once it is the width that you require it to be. I've completed my foundation row and I've just done a quick chain of 30 purely for the tutorial. So we're now going to work back along this foundation row and we're simply going to do a whole row of UK double crochet. So as I say, in the US this is your single crochet but I work in UK terms and it is our double. So you're going to work into your second chain from your hook so you've got one and two and you'll insert your hook, yarn over and pull up, you'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. Into the next stitch insert your hook, yarn over and pull up, yarn over and pull through both. So if you just pause just for now and work your whole row back of UK doubles or US singles and I will meet you at the other end in just a tick. So you're going to work your very final double crochet into that last chain just before your slip knot and that is how you should be looking and don't worry if it curls up slightly it is bound to do that but it will flatten out after this next row. So you want to turn your work and you're going to insert your hook into this very first stitch where your working end is coming up from so you might just need to move that working end very slightly. Insert your hook, go through the whole of the stitch so you should get a little V across the top, 
yarn over and pull up, you'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both. And that is just how I like to start my rows without doing chains and things. So if you're not sure when it comes to keeping your edges nice and straight, I do suggest just popping in a little stitch marker right at this moment into the top of that stitch that you've just completed. And then when you work back along with the next row, you'll know where your very final stitch needs to go. And that will keep your edges perfectly straight. So now into the next stitch, you're going to do a double treble. So that is UK double treble in the US. This is simply your treble. So you want to yarn over twice insert your hook into that next stitch. Again, go through the whole of the stitch, making sure to get that little V, yarn over and pull up. And at this point, you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. You'll have three loops left. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Yarn over, pull through the final two loops. So that is a UK double treble. Into the next stitch now, you're going to do a UK double or a US single. So you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over and pull through both. And then a double treble again. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up, Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. And then again, a UK double into the next stitch. So yarn over and pull up. Yarn over and pull through both. And you're going to start seeing the little lumpy bumpy bits forming on the other side of your work. So one side will always stay flat and the other side you will build all of your texture. So you're going to repeat that sequence now. You're going to double treble and then followed by a double. So there's my double treble and then a double. So if you continue working that all the way across and I will meet you as you get towards the end in just a sec. So I'm pretty much back at the other end now. I've got two chains left to work. You can see I've got the top of that double from the previous row and then I've got the little chain that we skipped at the beginning. So I'm going to do my double treble. And then finishing with a double in that final funny little chain that we skipped at the beginning of the project. So finish with a double. So that is row two complete. So you're going to turn your work again now and this is where you will see the start of that lovely texture. So now is a row of doubles again. So into this very first stitch where your working end is coming up from Insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both and pop your stitch marker. And then onto the top of your double treble, again through the whole of the stitch, making sure to catch the V, you'll do a double. And then into the top of the double from the previous row, and then again into the top of the double treble. So the doubles in between the double trebles can sometimes get a little bit lost. So make sure that you are always putting your double in between your little bobbly bits as well as on top of your double trebles. So if you continue that all the way along for this row, Getting towards the end now, I'm going to do my double into the top of that final double treble. And then if you've popped your stitch marker in, you should be able to see your final stitch nice and clearly. 
and you'll pop your final stitch into that double that we worked at the beginning of the last round. So this is how you should be looking. Like I say, we've got that beautiful texture going on already. So that double row is the first half of your row repeat. The second half of your row repeat is the double and the double treble row. So I'll just do one more reminder of that now. So we've turned, you'll insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over and pull up and yarn over, pull through both. And then into your next stitch, you will double treble. So you should be pretty familiar with the stitches by now. Double into the next, double treble into the next. And again, you'll work that all the way along and finish on a UK double crochet. So again, if you just work that to the end now and then you can repeat the previous row so you'll have your row of doubles and then your row of doubles and double trebles and you'll repeat those two rows over and over again. So I'm just quickly going to work up a few more rows now so that you can see the finished product. I've worked up quite a lot of rows now and you can see that as you move up with the pattern you get these beautifully, I'm just trying to flatten it out a bit, you get these beautifully straight edges and you get these lovely rows of cobble stitches so I'm hoping you can see the texture that you get but it's really beautiful texture so there are it almost gives the effect of mini popcorn stitches that type of thing so it's a really beautiful pattern and would make some fantastic projects so if you did like the tutorial then please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to keep up to date with all of my regular tutorials and also if you hang on till the end of the video I always put in little clickable links to things that A might be useful so border tutorials things like that and B things that you just might quite like. So that is it for the cobblestone stitch and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.